Hi everyone, Luna here. And today I wanted to do a book review of, of Blood and Bones by Kate Fruer. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have no idea how to pronounce that last name. It is spelled F-R-E-U-L-E-R. Fruler by Kate Fruler. And I'd show you the book, but I actually have somebody borrowing it right now. And I mentioned it a couple of times in, uh, in my past videos, but I was reading it back in December. And I'm reading it in a book club that Brittany from the Sunshine State Witch started. And there's like 20 of us, and we've been reading new books every month. Um, well, so far, since it started in December. But anyway, so about Of Blood and Bones, it is a wonderful book. It goes more into the darker side of magic. It's not all love and light, so there are some curses and hexes in there. But it does give a disclaimer about using those kind of spells as a last resort. And one thing that I liked was in the very beginning it said, you don't get to choose how someone reacts to your spells. And this applies to both curses and love magic. And another thing that I really liked was a couple pages in is asking yourself the purpose of the spell. Is it good for everyone? Is it harming more people than it helps? Does it benefit the whole picture? These are questions to ask yourself concerning your own ethics. And that's if you're wondering, oh, should I do this, should I do that? Kind of go into yourself and think about why you want to do this. If it's something frivolous that you can possibly figure out on your own instead of using magic it's more prudent I guess would be the word to do the mundane first another line that I liked was being a witch means accepting understanding and even embracing this period of darkness because it is essential to growth so it talks about the dark moon current and those energies that coincide with dark moon energy and how sometimes we have to see deeper within and deal with things that we're not too happy to deal with but it gives you that introspection so there were a couple of things in the book there's the you know the the positive correspondences for crystals there's the negative or the darker correspondences for crystals in there how to properly collect dirt like graveyard dirt or just dirt in general crossroad at, from liminal spaces pretty much and gives a list of correspondences with animals since you it also gives you ways to clean the bones of said animals and um the spells that I want to try there's there's a couple of spells that I want to try and one was the pop it in blood strength spell and it's it's kind of like a healing spell um, the dark moon blood sacrifice and a road opener oil and there's different spells and rituals that you can look through and figure out a lot of them do deal with blood magic so but they always use the disclaimer Kate always uses the disclaimer of using a sterile lancet because that's been cleaned and there's no sign of infection. It'll be very hard to get an infection from a clean lancet. Um, it also talks about collecting moon blood, otherwise known as menstrual blood. Um, and it's just an all around really interesting read. I really enjoyed it. And it my daughter looked at me and was like, is this, is this the no-no magic? <laughs> like a no-no place? And I was like, it's darker, yes, it's not all love and light. It does deal with darker things. And she's 16 and she's, she wants to delve deeper in Wicca and, and witchcraft and things like that. 
Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the book. So I suggest that you read it too. I am just finishing up my book for January and I'll be doing an inter uh, a review, excuse me, a review of that next month. So in a few weeks when I finish it. Anyway, so that is my review of, of Blood and Bones. And I hope you guys, I hope this review helps you decide on whether or not you should do it or read it. Um, so anyways, brightest blessings.